and it's done by hey 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 there we go fireworks hey 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 what up guys lots of negative situations happening in vegas right now but uh hopefully things are looking up yeah maybe not this is not the greatest view and this is weird guys this is a small window and this is supposed to be a penthouse suite it's a small suite but it's still a suite on the penthouse floor but the window is small and yes size does matter when it comes to windows and uh i'll make a video of that room coming up hey 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 what up guys all right let's walk over to the horseshoe and take you to a restaurant called my asia my stands for martin yang and that name should be familiar for those who watch cooking shows, especially in the 80s and 90s. Let's play a game. You'll watch this video, and towards the end, go down to the comments section and take a guess. How long you think this restaurant will be in business here on the Strip? Let us know how long you think it'll last and the reason for that guess. I'll give you a heads up on when to go down and comment. And uh, I hope at least one of you play this game, okay? <laughs> now, this place isn't quite fine dining Chinese restaurant, but uh, let's quickly talk about Vegas history in terms of uh, 1980s, 90s, up until about 2005 in regards to Chinese restaurants and their relationship with uh, the big dog casino hotels. These big dog hotels for its time, let's say the Hilton, MGM Grand, Mirage and the beginning stages of Bellagio and Venetian. They all offered fine dining Chinese restaurants to attract the Chinese whales from China and other Asian countries. Usually the hotel's most expensive and exquisite food dishes were offered at these Chinese fine dining restaurants. More on this at the end. A little VIP round table here guys if you need it. And, uh, Mr. Martin himself. Our mother's favorite recipe. Okay, you put it right here, you put it right here, and then it will come out like a dish like this. Look at how wonderful. <laughs> Michael has to go to the airport. So we have to rush now. Remember, if Yen can cook, it's Yen can too. So can all of you. Joy -gay. Joy -gay. Many of us who turn on the TV in the 80s and 90s know this man. Yan Can Cook premiered in 1982 and filmed over 3,500 episodes. First of all, welcome to NY Asia. We want to take you on a culinary adventure of Asia. Without going to Asia, we want you to come here to see what we're doing. It's an open kitchen right here. This is the heartbeat. This is the theater. This is the stage of my asia this was on a monday around 8 45 pm here's the cocktail menu and unfortunately and surprisingly this restaurant is a third-party vendor restaurant under the restaurant list of caesar's entertainment las vegas so, what does this mean? Well, first of all, your diamond drink vouchers are not valid here. Second, you're able to room charge. However, that room charge cannot be applied against your food and beverage credits. Third, Caesar's rewards credit are applied only at half value here, meaning that if you utilize them here, you're paying twice as much. Unlike MGM restaurants, where if it's room charge enabled, that room charge can be applied towards your food and beverage credit all the time. However, Caesars is a little confusing because they have the third party restaurants and they have their Caesars restaurants. But the way it looks sometimes, it looks like it's all listed under one category. So always double check before you order. Uh, ask them this, do you guys take Caesars Rewards credit? And if they say we charge double, that means it's a third party restaurant. All right guys, check it out. Some Taiwanese, Kung Pao orange chicken, all the good stuff. And here's some Asian other food here. Some curry chicken so forth and so forth this I asked hey is this the duck that they use at Beijing number nine is it general just roast duck that they source but no he told me that they make it here every day so I'm gonna go try that one here I love duck 
Mongolian beef, beef and broccoli, wasabi walnut. This sounds pretty good right here. I'm not a big walnut guy. Uh, I'm not a big walnut shrimp guy, but with the wasabi, it could kind of even out that creamy mayo taste, which I don't like. Here's the thing, guys. They're running a special here today, and this is what I ended up getting here. Uh, he says, today, there's noodles, and I get to pick a vegetable. Yeah, it's about 65 bucks or whatever. I'm not exactly sure, but let's see how that goes. But it's a special for today. And my favorite vegetable of all time. Like, one of my favorites is this. I know you all see me eat asparagus all the time, but only because they don't offer this at the steakhouses. It's good. Chinese broccoli. Uh, Kailan. I love it. Woo! Oh, wow. So with the e noodle, uh -huh. the e noodle in Chinese is translated to a longevity noodle, so they believe that if you eat that, you'll live a longer life. Oh, really? Okay. You have your new choice for you right over here. I'm going to grab your roast stuff. Okay? okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Woo! This looks delicious. I love the stuff. All right, so the special today was that the vegetables was included and the noodles, which is usually extra, was also included. But I have a question for you guys. Now, I'm shooting this here without flash, and I'm always wondering about this. Do you prefer this without the flash or this with the flash? Now, in, in this instance, please give me your feedback. Do you prefer this with the flash or the other one without the flash? And uh, I'm talking about flash lighting, the lighting situation. And uh, this dish looks pretty good, although the lobster doesn't look like it's top, top quality. All right, let's get in this a little bit, huh? A little flour here. Boom, boom, boom. Mix it up. Oof. A lot of noodles in here. Oh, yeah scallions mix it all up it's like almost like kagoku oh yeah this smells awesome Here's a lobster piece, and it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be the greatest tasting, but who knows? Let's give it a try. Oh yeah, very juicy. Chinese flavor, wok flavor, lobster action, let's go. Wow, that was packed with flavor. So uh, the looks deceived me on that one, but uh, looking at this duck, I hope looks don't deceive me here because this duck looks incredible. It looks juicy, it's shiny, it's fatty. Uh, this is under 30 bucks, which is crazy here on the Las Vegas Strip. All right, y'all, let's do a duck check. Duck check, duck check. The, the sauce didn't come out there. I don't know if there's sauce for this or not, the plum sauce or whatnot. This is going at this. Oh, wow. Wow, this is a, it's so flavorful. It's, it's like they, uh, they get an extra grill after the situation. If that makes any sense. It's, the skin is thin and delicate, but it's extra crispy as if they put some flavoring on top. Yeah, it's unlike other roast duck. The flavor is very delicate inside, but there is flavor. When the on the outside is just different. I like it. You know, it's definitely they do their own stuff here. And yes, that was some delicious hair. <laughs>
Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spice it up a little bit, you know? I don't know how I caught that one, but I'm glad I caught that one. I like big spoons and I cannot lie. Alright y'all, there's some stuff inside the head. I'm gonna eat it. Alright y'all, this is what came out. That's what came out from in there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just curious. Oh yeah, that tastes like uh, something that would come out from a head. All right, guys, I'm done. You know, was it worth it? Eh, the taste, it, it didn't knock my socks off. But in, in the defense, I'm not a big lobster dude. Plus, I'm like, I don't like doing work. It took me all this time trying to figure out or trying to navigate through the, uh, the shells and whatnot. Not my personal choice. I'm not a big lobster guy, but given the circumstance, I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. It was good. Was it crazy good? No. However, that was crazy good. And this is awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they do something slightly different here. And it does taste different from the uh, duck that they serve you at Noodles at Bellagio and uh basin number nine this is definitely a little bit elevated from there is it good as blossom no it's not good as blossom but then again this is about 30 dollars for half a duck so cheaper than blossom again my favorite duck in vegas is at blossom but this will do for under 30 bucks why not let's do it Oof. too much work too much work Whew. Here's the bill and this duck. It's got to be one of my favorite under thirty dollar dishes in Las Vegas. This is heavy. This is heavy. Let's go. Let's go. Well, all right. Now that you saw the location of this restaurant, the vibe of the restaurant, you saw the food and its prices. Now, how long you think this restaurant will last in business here on the Las Vegas Strip? Pause this and comment below right now. Comment below and please come back up, all right? And please, at least one of you got to play this game. All right, pause and come back. Wow, this is crazy. They barely lasted five months in business. This is unfortunate, even in the very competitive field here on the Las Vegas Strip reading through various online vegas articles including one from vital vegas it said that there's a whole bunch of drama that was going on behind the scenes including that they couldn't even pay their construction fees that they endured regardless martin yan he's a legend he's one of the og celebrity chefs and the the popularity of asian food today in our culture is heavily rooted in his uh, tv shows that he's been doing since the early 80s his various restaurant ventures, including this one, have not experienced longevity, but uh, let's not get this twisted. Thousands of Asian restaurants in the 80s and 90s, he's the huge reason why they were able to do business and experience longevity. By the way, I'm an Asian restaurant kid growing up in the 80s, and uh, I wanna say thank you, Chef Martin Yen. Thank you very much. 
Oh, I have to tie up the story earlier about the uh, the Las Vegas and its relationship with Chinese restaurants. Now today, the big dog hotels, their emphasis on Chinese fine dining is not as strong as it was in the 80s and 90s. Reason number one, there's been a huge decline in Chinese big wells visiting Las Vegas. They go to Macau now. Reason two, the big Chinese wells coming in today, they're not necessarily craving or needing Chinese food. They're looking for steakhouses, French food, and other fine dining. Well, all right, that's my story, and I'm going to stick to it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please push that like button, and please subscribe. I am trying to get to that 1,000 subscriber mark. All right, y'all, thank you for watching, and please come again. Bye-bye.